All right, we're getting close to the ends of all of that information about the elements of art and the principles of design. So we're working on our very last one. So let's get in here and close up on this. It's easier to read for you. Uh, more principles of design. Another way to create variety is through the principle of proportion. Proportion is one of our vocabulary words. Uh, it has to do with the relative size amounts in the design. For example, in a design where all the shapes are about the same size, the principle of proportion would suggest that some larger shapes and smaller shapes could be added for variety. In the design below, you will create interest by applying the principle of proportion. You must use the same principles and only change the relative size and the shapes uh, with your pencil. All right, so here we've got a, a, a six-pointed star, a flower shape, and a cube shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold our paper for this activity. We're going to fold our paper in half. And we're going to fold that half in half. And that's going to give us four areas to do our, our project in. So once there's a star, so I'm going to start off with, uh, instead of the uh, six-pointed star, I'm going to start off with a star that's about the same size as the star that we have over here. And it's off to start off with a triangle. <clears throat> there's a star, uh, five-pointed instead of six-pointed. But the proportion means we're going to have a variety of smaller ones and maybe even some larger ones in our design. And again, I'm doing this really quickly so that you can get an idea for this. If you were to lightly draw these in with pencil, then come in and erase these lines and then outline them with dark, then you could also uh, go back in on top of that and add in some um, line details or decorative pieces inside these shapes to uh, add interest and variety and uh, design aspects from our um, to this. You can go in and put in um, all sorts of designs. So we don't want to be limiting your creativity to um, this project. And you, even with this, you can go in and decide, okay, every other one I'm going to color in and make a checkerboard pattern out of the designs. So you can spend some time. So uh, this is not a complete design showing proportion, and it's not a complete picture. And this is not. The, again, we don't want the video to be uh, 18 minutes long. All right, so our next activity is this uh, flower shape. And we'd want, well, mine are starting to look like clouds, so we want smaller clouds and bigger clouds. We're going to follow uh, this, but again, if we wanted to make it look like the exact shape, we could do that. All right, so then the same thing with the square here, and then you have this one last block that you're going to fill in all, your, all yourself. Make sure your name and period number or up here at the top corner so that I take a picture that's you know this is today's activity or the part first part of that activity all right so the next page in this is also our design principles using uh, leading the, the viewers eye and we're going to talk about focal point and emphasis and uh, I'm going to zoom in on this make it a little easier for you to read there are several other ways to create interest. One is through the principle of leading the viewer's eye. For example, in a picture, a path along uh, from the away from the viewer's eye to into the distance leads the viewer's eye into the composition. Strategic um, placement of shapes or objects in the design accomplish the same thing. So when we talk about uh, that. Uh, here is a picture of a train and it's going off into the distance and it leads your eye across other areas of your composition so that everything is as important. All right, so we're using those techniques. Another principle is to add interest and variety is a focal point. Focal point means establishing one part of the area of a picture as most important. Uh, usually the focal point should uh, not be centered in order to add variety and interest to the, interest to the design, 
uh, you may have heard of the rule of thirds. Um, this rule means that the subject or focal point of the design should be placed about one third of the way across from the edge of the paper. So, you know, this right here would be half. And so it's moved over just a little bit. So there's some space here. You might place other uh, vases or uh, uh, any other design aspects, adding a, um, a horizon line and putting in different areas. But this would be the thing that has the object that has the most intense colors, the most intense values, the most intense uh, um, details, and that's going to draw your eye. It's the most important thing on the page because it's bigger. So you wouldn't want to put bigger, more ornate things in this design because this is your focal point. Uh, another principle closely related to the focal point is emphasis. Emphasis makes means making some part of the design stand out more than others. Emphasis can be used to create a focal point uh, simply by, uh, to strengthen some part of the design that is not the full focal point. Emphasis can be achieved through uh, contrast of line, shape, value, texture, and color. It can be achieved through variation in proportion, uh, through extreme uh, detail. Emphasis can be created through any means that calls more attention to this certain part. Because if there was other vases in here, and let's use this uh, page here for a real quick uh, demonstration. And we want you to, again to, to uh, fold your paper in half, then fold that half in half. And we want to have uh, four areas for you to practice these ideas in. So when you're showing me your finished product. There should be uh, four. There should be four completed areas. So if we're drawing this same vase, over here and we'll do a real quick uh, vase drawing and over here and the one-third area so all of our details and our best designs are going to be on this piece if you had uh, uh, other of these jars in the background They would be up higher and in the background. And the details on these would be uh, less detailed and even not as dark with the value or as intense. So uh, come up with uh, four different other ideas where you have your focal point over here at the one-third area. I put half. I meant one-third over, not halfway, but one-third of the way over. And you can put it one-third over here on this side. So you don't have to do it constantly with that area. And um, on this last one, let's think of drawing a vertical design. And this is your one-third area. Uh, I keep putting twos. This is your one-third area. And you're going to fill in the rest of up here with other things that aren't as detailed, aren't this is your focal area, this bottom part. So whatever could design you come up with for up there. All right, so let's go ahead and experiment. Make sure you're doing all of these activities and filling them in. These are just sketches. These aren't, and if you want to add in ink, if you want to add in color, you're able to do that. All right, go out and have some fun, and we'll be working on perspective next.